of a one nation one election that is a simultaneous central and state elections and the bill being taken up in the indian parliament has uh, raised uh, a lot of questions uh, and uh, speculation as well after the indian government set up a high level committee to study the move opposition leaders have termed it an attack on the indian union and the states one nation one election is not a new concept for india and has for long been an election promise of the bjp prime minister modi in fact had earlier said in 2019 that the country should have at least one electoral roll he said it was a disgrace for the country as a lot of money gets wasted in a making of uh, in the making of a different electoral rolls the move has added to the heated politics between the opposition and the center Rahul Gandhi today said the idea of one nation one election is an attack on the Indian Union and all its states this attack comes a day after the congress leader Adi Rajan Chaudhary declined to uh, declined to join the high level government committee headed by the former president Ramnath Kovind the nine member committee originally formed has been reduced to eight members Earlier on Saturday a notification was released detailing the members of the committee the notification also enunciated the objectives of the committee and the specific questions that it is going to be making its recommendations on the panel includes former president Ramnath Kovind who was announced as the chairman of the high level committee the panel also including a union home minister Amit Shah and interestingly the former leader of opposition in the rajya sabha gulam nabi azad who had a bitter fallout with the congress party some prominent advocates and retired bureaucrats also in the panel the committee has been mandated to commence immediately and make its recommendations at the earliest no time frame for the task has been mentioned in the notification while the issue of one nation one election is hotly being debated in the in, uh, is hotly being debated there are multiple conditions as well there have to be there has to be an amendment to the 1951 representation of people's act the government must garner two third majority in the parliament to pass the bill the proposal must be passed by 50% of the states the process will also involve dissolving the state assemblies and five other other articles will have to be amended Elections in India are a recurrent and costly affair given the propensity of state elections at different times throughout the year and to ease the burden on manpower and resources the idea of holding the elections simultaneously has been in discussion but uh, the task needs to cross complex constitutional and statutory hurdles The high level committee has been asked to explore options to hold these elections together however the opposition remains skeptical members of uh, Rajya Sabha Dikvijay Singh has accused the PM and the BJP of despising the constitution